Namaste. In this session, we are going to look at label encoder. Now, before we go into the coded implementation, I first want you to look at the official documentation of label encoder. It says that it is used to encode target labels with value between 0 and n classes minus 1. And this transformer should be used to encode the target values that is y and not the input x. You see, I have seen so many people make this mistake of using label encoder on their categorical features x that basically on the input x okay whereas this label encoder has been developed to use only on the target values y that is on a dependent column now i'll tell you that why it is so explicitly written here that not to use label encoder on the categorical features and only to be used on the target values when we look at the coded implementation now okay so this is the data set we have so this is basically an income evaluation data set containing information about some 32,000 people uh, having uh, some features here and basically they are being classified as having people as people having income less than 50k or greater than 50k so if I check tells me that less than 50k so there were 24,000 people having less than 50k salary and only 7,800 having a greater than 50k salary now before we apply any pre-processing step the first step should always be to split your data into training and testing set okay that is the most important thing to avoid da data leakage it is mandatory that you first uh, split your data and then work upon the training data alone and then propagate those changes onto the testing data. I'll import now what is my x? My x is my entire data frame except my income column. From the axis is equal to one, drop the income column. Then my y, what is my y? My y is my income column. You must be wondering why I'm putting this extra space here. That is because it is not uh, visible here, but all those columns, if I check df.columns, all those columns have an extra space before the column name. And that is why I'm having to put this space here. Okay, so now what is my test size? I'll say 0 0.2 my random state is equal to 0 wonderful now I'll create a label encoder object but for that I'll have to import label encoder so I'll say from pre-processing module import the label encoder class okay now once that is done now I'll create a label encoder object now I created this LE object. Now I'll fit this LE object onto my training data. What is my training data here? Because I'm only working with the class labels now. So I have to use Y train here. Okay. So I'll say LE dot fit, fit the Y train data. Okay. Onto the label encoder object. Now if I check the classes that what scikit-learn has found, it tells me that it has found two values less than 50k and greater than 50k. Okay, so these were the two values in the income column. So now I'll just transform Y train. Right, so you see now my Y train is all zeros and ones. So what are these zeros and ones? If I check series, now you see it will tell me that the first 14 or rather 15 values were all zeros. And the next one was just a one. So if I check my Y train now, okay. So by default, uh, it had chosen the first 14 values to be less than 50k and the next one was greater than 50k. So you see, it has assigned zeros to all the less than 50k values and ones to all the greater than 50k values here. Okay, so this is how a label encoder works. It has basically converted the categorical column of the target labels into a numerical one. Okay, so now similarly, I can now transform the y test column 
so this is my new white test now with zeros and ones so you can be rest assured that whatever it has learned from this fitting of the data from white ring it will propagate those changes it will basically propagate those values to the white test here using this transform if we are using this same label encoder object okay so it has learned that to basically what it has learned is that less than 50k should be uh, encoded as zero and greater than 50k should be encoded as one so it has remembered those things here and in the white test it has done the same thing so this is how we can use label encoder to encode the target values and if you would have noticed here that there was no particular reason for assigning zero to less than 50k and one to greater than 50k right we didn't specify anything of that sort here so this is the main thing uh, as to why even scikit-learn is not recommending using label encoder for the target sorry for the uh, categorical features that is because it is randomly assigning or rather not randomly it is assigning zeros and ones and twos based upon the uh, alphabetical order right so that is how it is assigning zeros and ones so if i assign for example for this native country column if i assign a label encoder if i try label encoder you'll see what happens if i make a new object called le1 now if on this le1 if i fit the native country column so if i say x train of native country now if i transform so you see if it is only on the x train then i can simply just fit underscore transform at the same time so now what do you see here it is it has assigned random numbers to all of those countries in my x train so if i check my x train of native country so the first five first rather six for united states next one was mexico etc so if i check what this actually is doing I do pd dot series you see for the first six ones are 39 the next one is a 26 then again we have th a, a string of 39s that is because united states was given a code of 39 mexico was given a code of 26 that was in the alphabetical order right so you see uh, now if we feed this these numbers to the machine learning model it will think that number 39 is gr greater than 26 so the us must be better than mexico but we know that it is just a nominal categorical variable and not an ordinal one so we cannot assign numerical value to any country right so this is where label encoder fails for a categorical feature column and that is why we shouldn't use it here if we want to use uh, a label encoder a similar class is available in scikit-learn called ordinal encoder so this will do a similar task except that we can specify the order that we want like for example uh, if we have this column of education right for education we have quite a few values like bachelor's high school grad high school grad 11th bachelor's again so we can specify the order that first is uh, like bachelor's will be the highest and 11th will come before that so bachelor's will get a higher uh, value than 11th so we'll look at that in the later lecture don't worry about that so you see this is why we shouldn't use label encoder on the categorical features because it is assigning the those numbers based on the alphabetical order and not based on any other column or based on any reasoning okay so this will basically create biasedness in a machine learning model and it will not be a correct model to interpret so always use label encoder only on the target column on, in a classification task and uh, not on the categorical features okay so just keep this in mind and you will be good to go so i hope i was clear in this class so if you found this lecture interesting and then please like and subscribe to my channel and if you find anything that was incorrect or if you have any doubts please feel free to ask me in the comment section below I'll be happy to answer them.